This is where I ate yesterday, the Dosa Hut, here in Fujera, UAE, where about half the population are Indian, so you don't have to look too far to find authentic Indian food. Hi, how are you? Hi, Can I have this chicken tally? Same one I had yesterday. This chicken tally. Chicken tally. Yeah, and also I want the fish fry. This is the fish fry here, right? Oh, okay. So there's three different kinds, four different kinds, right? I want the big one. I big want the big one, one yeah. Oh. And can you make me sweet lassie? Sweet lassie, oh. Okay, thank you, brother. Thank you. Every authentic Indian restaurant you come to will have one of these, a separate hand wash basin, separate from the main toilet area. So if you're in an Indian restaurant and it doesn't have one of these, probably it's a place for the tourists and isn't authentic. Thank you, brother. Thank you. A knife and fork? No, no, joking, joking. <laughs> Only joking. That's another sign of an authentic Indian restaurant is when they don't even give you knife and fork. You're just expected that you'll be eating with your hands. So let's, let's see what we've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things. So a tally is basically like, I think of it like an Indian buffet. You know, it's like a buffet. You've got all this variety, but you don't have to keep getting out your seat to go and get more stuff. And you can actually get more stuff. Like if I want to eat all this, for example, and ask for more, they'll give me more. Uh, in pretty much any restaurant where they serve a tally, that is the system. So one of these usually is like a dessert type of thing. So I need to be careful that I don't mix that in with my rice when I get it. Ah, uh, yeah, this one, this is some kind of like sweet dairy thing. I think it's got those like rice noodles in it. So I'll put that to the side for now. And these six I'll be eating with the rice. Yum, yum. Thank you, brother, thank you. Oh, here's my fish fry. Lovely. I chose the biggest fish, the biggest fish for me. Thank you, brother, thank you. Oh, lovely. Oh, namaskaram. Namaskaram, how are you? I'm back for more lovely telly. I brought my camera this time. Oh. Say hello to everyone. Hi, hi. <laughs> so uh, yesterday I ate here and it was delicious, so I came back for more. Yeah. Brought my camera this time. Very yeah. Very good. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic, my friend. Okay. So guys, let's talk prices for all this stuff. So the chicken tally, that's 14 dirhams. So you're talking less than $4 US. The fish fry, that is only 10 dirhams for that massive fried fish. And that's like $2.50 or something. And the lassie, that is four dirhams, so a dollar. So pretty decent prices. I mean, compared to India prices, maybe slightly over double, but compared to, I don't know, tourist area in Dubai or anywhere in any kind of Western country, this is very, very reasonably priced food. And like I said, it's fully authentic. I think the UAE actually is probably the country with the most best value and most authentic Indian food outside of India, just given the fact that how many Indian people live here, it's got to be more than any other country outside of India, right? So, fantastic. I'm gonna get stuck into this authentic chicken tally with a wee poppadom. I believe you're supposed to crack this and sprinkle over your rice like Salt Bay. I believe that is the way they do it. So, I'm gonna flatten this all out. I'm gonna flatten this rice out and all these tally items will be going on top of it. This one is some kind of aloo curry. Uh, we've got this, it looks like shredded cabbage or something. It's some kind of shredded vegetable. And it looks like there's probably coconut on that. I'll tell you in a minute. This is cabbage. Cabbage, cabbage. cabbage. ah, so it's shredded, shredded cabbage with some coconut. coconut. Yeah, it's a nice one, I like this one. Okay. And do you normally eat one, 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 or you mix everything in together? Mix, yeah. You always mix? mix. Yeah. Ah, okay. So that's it. I'll get everything on the plate, then I'll start mixing it up. And this one, do you know what it is? This is with the curd, some vegetables. No, oh, oh, some oh, mixed vegetables yeah. made with curd and curd. some masala, yeah. right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Mm. Nice. Okay, mixed vegetables. 
Is it sweet, huh? Yeah, I keep this one for the end, right? This is like yeah, a, yeah. a pasayam or... Um, payasam. Payasam, yeah, payasam. payasam. Or Kerala payasam. Yeah, so you boil the milk and uh, add milk sugar. And, uh, su not sugar. No? Where the sweetness uh, coming from, where? Uh, Jagri, Jagri. Oh, Jagri. Ah, uh, okay. So you mix Jagri, yeah. boil with uh, yeah. milk, and, and coconut, uh, not coconut, cashew nut, mundiri, uh, grape. Oh, really? Ah, yeah. ah, okay. And this have the the rice noodles in it as well. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's what. I, yeah, I've had this one before. I like it. This is for the, at the at the end after yeah, all this yeah, after little after dessert. Sweet. Ah, okay. Nice. Yeah, I like this one. So now I know what, exactly what it is. It's boiled milk. The, I always thought they'd just add sugar to it, but he says it's jaggery they add to it for the sweetness. And they're adding some cashews and grapes in there as well. And uh, yeah, you can't see it, but there'll be like little rice noodles, vermicelli basically. And this is, uh, I guess, the writer. I think it's like curd to keep just in case what you're eating is way too spicy and you need something to balance it out with. So I'll just keep that one on the side. I won't mix that in. That's only like a kind of kind of a lifesaver if your meal's too hot. I've also got this. That's normally why I drink um, a lassi when I eat Indian food, whenever they have one, is uh, yeah, just for the balance. Anything dairy, anything like curd, yogurt, milk, uh, it'll just balance out any um, spiciness. Although I have had people tell me when you eat meat, like this tandoori chicken, you shouldn't eat, uh, you shouldn't drink uh, a lassi with it because it can upset your stomach. But uh, in my experience, that's never happened. And it doesn't really make sense either because you're always having like curd with your non-veg dish anyway. So um, yeah, uh, I think it's a myth, but a lot of people keep saying it. Oh, lovely. Okay. I'll mix some of this chicken curry in as well. Now, all these pieces of chicken, they're on the bone. So this is the advantage in using your hands is getting every piece of meat off the bone. I mean, trying to, Eat this, for example, with a knife and fork would be very, very difficult. <laughs> like, you'd have to be getting it in and out of all the grooves and all that, but when you're just using your hands, look at that, you just rip it off. And as you can see, no meat has been wasted. That bone is clean. Try doing that with a knife and fork. You cannot. Okay, it's so tender as well, this, uh, this chicken. Right, I'll mix it in with a bit of the rice. Just get the rice nice and covered. Mm. Let's get nice and messy. The vegetables, the gravies, a little bits of crunchiness from the poppadom. It's looking lovely, isn't it? Mm. Yum, yum, guys, yum, yum. This is nice. Mm. Mm. Now, I deliberately left some rice on the side here to mix that with the, the chicken gravy. So, I'm keeping the veg and the meat separate. Ooh. And again, taking the meat off the bone so much easier with your hands. Look at that. I can just dig my thumb right into that and get right to the bone and peel it off. So, as you can see, nothing wasted. That's a big thing in Indian culture is not wasting food. I should also say it's a big thing in Indian culture not to use your left hand, but when it comes to ripping the meat off, I kind of need both hands. All the meat is gone. Now time to introduce the fish. The fish fry. Now look at this. It's like absolutely covered in masala and then fried. And it's a nice thick one. Same as one I had yesterday, nice and thick. Let's just 
Oh, you see that? See how much meat is on that fish? Absolutely lovely. Check if there's no bones there and the piece that are ripped off, and then it's gone straight in the mouth. Mm. Oh, there is, there is a bone, there is a bone. You can see the bones are very small though, so if you eat one, it's not much of a problem. You know, in the West, we're kind of pampered. If we'd go out to some kind of seafood restaurant, they would probably debone the fish for us. They would definitely cut the head off and stuff, but Indian culture, it's more about practicality. You know, just get the fish, cover it in all the masala, fry it up, serve it. Mm. Mm. I'm going to try my very best to get every piece of meat off this fish, just like I did with the, the chicken. And it's quite easy, it's just, it just rips right off, you can see that. In fact, look at that, <laughs> it just peels off. It's not as difficult as it looks, you see. And now I have nice big chunks of meat. Mm. Hey, how are you? You good? My hands are messy, man. <laughs> okay. You don't want to fist bump me when my hands are this messy. Yeah, Dale Phillip, right? Yeah, I'm Dale Phillip. Uh, yeah, I'm from Kerala. You are You're from Kerala? Yeah, I was in the Munar in yeah, the Kochi. Yeah, uh, you are also from Kerala? Ah, uh, yeah, Kerala from Tivandra. You know, everyone I speak to in this restaurant, they're all from Kerala. Yeah, yeah. Because you have a video. Yeah, really, huh? Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, good. How am I doing? Am I eating properly? <laughs> My left hand is kind of a little bit uh, messed up. I'm, I'm not doing it properly, but um, you quite properly. All the meat. Yeah, I got every piece of meat. You don't <laughs> you waste the meat, right? A pro can eat like this. <laughs> yeah. So I'm demolishing this. I got the chicken telly and the uh, fried oh, fish fry as well. And you you eating what? Yeah, we just uh, came here. We for just coffee. having one uh, coffee. Yeah. You came here for coffee. Yes, yeah, actually we saw you and we just came here. Yeah. Oh, really? You see me from outside, yeah? yeah? We, oh really? Yeah. We we bought through the car and we see you. Oh, really? saw you and after. Oh really? Oh okay. Yeah. After finish, please let us know after you finish the meeting. We need to take a selfie. Okay? Oh really? Okay, I definitely not now. <laughs> yeah, I'm too messy. Okay, 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 okay. No worries. What's your name? My name is Godfrey. Godfrey. Ah, okay. Godfrey Gerigon Milton Benedict. Milton Benedict. Oh, you Christians, both Christians. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Christian names. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, cheers. Here. We are not in oh, you just here. Ah, okay. Okay, brother. Okay. Are you supposed to eat the tail? I don't know. Are you supposed to eat the tail? Looks nice and crunchy. Really? This is edible, the tail, really? Okay, I'll give it a go. This is not edible. It's, it feels like bone. It feels like bone. How's the day? No. The tail, I cannot eat. I cannot eat the tail. It's too hard. It's too hard. I feel like I'm eating um, like bone or something. Yeah. As far as these very small bones go, I feel like I've probably swallowed about five or six of them so far. But I don't think it's going to do me any harm. They're very, very, very thin ones. The main big ones are the ones in the center. And uh, like I said, the meat just rips clean off of them. And the head, you don't eat the head, right? You don't eat the head. You eat the head, what are you? I mean, there's no meat on this. It feels like it's just, oh, there is a little bit. Under the eyeball, there's like a, under the eyeball is a little bit of meat. But it's, it's not much at all. It's mostly skin, right? Yeah, a little bit of flesh, yeah. Mmm. It's a nice fatty piece. Yeah. Yeah, there's hardly, hardly any, there's all sorts of stuff going on in there that I probably don't want to swallow, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I also don't want to waste, so anything that looks white, I'm going to put it in my mouth. Anything that looks like that, probably not. Mm. Right, I've just picked out all the bones and the remaining little parts of the fish meat. I'm just mixing it all in with the rice. I'm gonna eat like that. I felt another bone there. There we go. I'm just getting all the bones out, mixing it all up, and then this is how I'm gonna finish the meal. In fact, I don't know if it's appropriate to put chicken gravy with the fish, but I'm gonna do it. Get this all nice and sauced up. Mm. 
Cleared the plate. No food was wasted, unless you count all this that I dropped on the table mat. But yeah, feeling pretty good. And the pie, Sam, to finish off. Cheers. Good. Feeling pretty good. I'm feeling like uh, satisfied, you know, like I'm full, but I don't feel like all bloated and stuff, you know. I feel nice. And uh, yeah, I demolished that fish. <laughs> it was a difficult one to eat. The fish was difficult for me to eat, yeah, the bones and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the bones difficult for me to eat. But it seem like you don't know how to eat, like, Yeah. Pretty good, right? Really? Yeah. You being honest? You're laughing. Why are you laughing? You're laughing while you say it. Seriously, huh? Yeah. So basically, what you're saying is I'm a pro. I'm a pro when it comes to eating Indian food. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks. Oh, these are your daughters. Ah, oh, okay, so they're modeling for the decoration in the, in the restaurant. Ah, oh, very nice. Very nice. Ah, oh, good. Okay, only 28. Very good value. Very good value. I'll leave a little something for your staff as well. Your tip box. No problem, brother, no problem. Very nice. Okay, I will see you next time. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Maybe tomorrow I will come and eat uh, one of these uh, special doses. Yeah, they have. In the evening, you have all the doses. Yeah, after yeah. six. After six. Yeah. Can choose anything after yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Sure. Guys, I am back at the dosa hut. This time to actually eat some dosa. Last time I just had the chicken tally. Looks like I'm the only customer here again. Hello. I'm the only customer. I came to eat some dosa. Look at all the different varieties of dosa they have right there. there have got to be at least 50 different varieties there. So I'm going to choose one of these. Which dosa is good? Which one? Oh, Namaskaram. How are, you? How are you? This time I came to eat the dosa. Yeah. Yeah, this is all your varieties. Yeah. What is the favorite one? Best one. Yeah. Oh, how about the, the brain, the mutton brain? Is it good? Brain, no, not no, you good. think not good? What about uh, pizza? Yes, pizza we have. Pizza is good, yeah? Yes, yeah, good. How you make it? Just the same like a pizza, except it's a dosa, right? Yeah, yeah, dosa. Ah, okay. Chicken pizza. Oh, chicken pizza. Oh, nice. I will make two, three more. No, no problem. Really, huh? Yeah. Ah, okay, good. I'll make uh, two, three type of dosas, okay? Okay. Varieties right of dosas. <laughs> Been invited into the kitchen, guys. Fantastic. I'm gonna see how my dosa's been made. Uh, this is a dosa station, is it? Yeah. Oh, she's making three yeah. right now. So these are my ones. No, there's uh, only one, but they will make three layers. Oh, they'll do a three layer dosa. Yeah. Ah, okay. Chicken double decker dosa. This mozzarella? Yeah. Mozzarella. Mo mozzarella. Ah, okay. And some uh, carrot, some coriander leaves. Coriander leaves. Yeah. And what is in this one here? More chicken, more chicken. No, eh? no, this same chicken. Same okay. chicken, but I, oh, another type of masala. Another type of masala. Ah, okay. Oh, this is going to be huge. I said some olives as well. Oh wow. An omelette as well. Ah, so three layers. Yeah, three layers. Wow. It's gonna be huge. Chicken. Finished product. Fantastic. Okay, he's making me another one as well. So I think I'm getting three dosas here. He's recommended I take three dosas. So he's just flattened out this uh, batter made from rice flour. And we've got this one. Is... Oh, butter chicken dosa. Oh, butter chicken. Oh, wow. 
So we're getting some butter chicken inside a dosa. Wow. Ah, butter. And more mozzarella. More mozzarella. This is going to be dosa number three. This is called gyro. 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 Ah, so there's ghee and what? Roast, yeah. roast ghee what? And dosa. Roast oh, only ghee and dosa. Ah, okay. So ghee is like a clarified butter. It's basically the the fat from the butter. Cool. It's a very cool presentation. The middle parts get rolled up. Oh wow, cool. Very nice presentation, very nice. Can't wait to get stuck in to these dosas. Don't know if that's the correct plural. Is it dosas? Dosa, I think. Oh, that's the guy. Oh, there we are. That's my double decker as well. And then there was a plain one with just ghee. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish all this, but I'm going to try. <laughs> oh, it's coming with some well, condiments. What are these? Coconut. coconut. Ah, okay, there's coconut. And this samba? Samba, chili. Ah, and this is a chili one. Ah, okay. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> right, I don't know what I should go for first. This one is coming with two spoons, but I reckon it looks easier, much easier actually, to eat it with your hands. And oh, Actually, it's burning hot. That's probably why uh, he's, he's giving me the spoons. Now, he said a lot of people here, they're getting deliveries from this restaurant, but the absolute best way to eat a dosa is to get it fresh. Like if you wait 30 minutes. This is called vada. Oh, vada, ah, okay. Vada. Very nice. This from the lentils or this the, this the lentil vada? Huh? Lentil vada, the dal, dal vada. No, no, no. Not dal. Same ingredient, same dosa as ingredient. Ah, it's made from rice flour. Ah, okay, so it's a vada made from rice flour. I've never had that before. Every time I've had a vada, or oh, more, I idli. idli you know oh, that. yeah, I know idli. Breakfast food, breakfast food. Wow, how am I going to finish all this? <laughs> don't, don't. Oh, okay, I, I, I will try not to, he, he says don't worry, but I'll try not to waste. I came here expecting to eat just a dosa, but he, he wants me to try, you know, he's very proud of his food. He wants me to try all these different things. Um, yeah, this thing's burning hot. What was I saying? Yeah, he said that um, dosas really should be eaten fresh right after they're cooked. If you want it delivered and it takes like 30 minutes, it's not going to be anywhere near as good by the time you get it. So always better if you want to eat dosa, don't order Uber Eats or Taliba or whatever. You want to come to an actual dosa restaurant and eat it. I'm going to try and pick this up with, oh, it is burning hot. But, okay. I'm going to use the spoon for this, just because it's too hot. Mm. Oh wow, it's delicious. There's these little chunks of chicken, and then it's like kind of like tomatoey masala paste that's not really overly spicy or anything. And uh, 
yeah, tastes like a pizza, except it's a dosa. So more healthy, I think, because it's rice flour, not wheat flour, isn't it? Mm. Now, because this dosa is so thick, it actually, it's more like an idli than a dosa. So it's more like an, a pizza idli. It's more like a pizza idli. Uh, so you can imagine this just like, mm. Mm. Just like having a chicken pizza, except on top of an idli rather than uh, a wheat base, and absolutely delicious, absolutely delicious. Hopefully, it's cooled down a little bit. Oh, there we go. Now I can pick it up. Now I can fully enjoy it, just like a pizza. I can fully enjoy it, just like a pizza. Two hands as well. <laughs> oh my God. Oh wow, it's lovely. It is absolutely pizza delicious, delicious. Mm. Mm. And just a little bit spicy, I'd maybe say like two out of ten on the spiciness scale. Okay, let's get slice number two of this double decker of deliciousness in this Scottish belly. Guys, this is so delicious and it's so dense and it looks like it would be hard to eat, hard to finish all this, but it actually feels really light because if you've ever eaten idli before, you know, these things, you'll know that there's a lot of air in there. So it's very, it's very like light and fluffy and uh, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> mm. Mm. Right, let's try one of these idlis. Now, the difference between an idli and a dosa, it's just basically the same ingredients. It's just a dosa is very, very flat, and this is like the thicker version of it. And this is somewhere in between. This is a lot thicker than a dosa normally is. You can probably see here, it's like uh, very fluffy. Normally, a dosa is like mostly like this, you know, it's very papery. Sometimes they call it a paper dosa. Anyway, I'm going to try this thick idli and some of this, oh, also looks thick, coconut chutney. I've always been a fan of coconut chutney. That's normally what I'm eating for breakfast when I've been traveling around India is just idlis and coconut chutney and uh, it's a very light and simple thing. You can see like they've done very little to that. They've added some shredded carrots, maybe, I don't know. I think that's about it basically, but uh, yeah. Let's get it smothered in the coconut chutney. Mm. Very nice, very doughy, very doughy, and very fluffy. Well, I'm gonna put this to the side for now so that I can try this one, the butter chicken dosa. Oh, lovely presentation, isn't it? Really cool how he's done that. It rolled up the three slices in the middle, just nice and easy for me to pick up. Oh, so it's butter chicken, basically like a, a normal butter chicken curry that you would get, except it's in a dosa and then covered in a layer of mozzarella and uh, coriander again. So it's kind of like a crossover. I guess, it, I guess it isn't just another like pizza dosa, except, um, you know, with the mozzarella and stuff, except it's butter chicken. Uh, and it's thinner than that one. That was like the nice thick fluffy one. This is very, very thin. Sometimes they call dosas like this paper dosa. They just flatten it out as much as they can and it gets all crispy like that. You can see how crispy it is. It's very, very thin. Okay, let's go for it. Mmm. Oh, it's too good. It's too good. Mm. Mm. Oh. Like butter chicken is one of the most delicious Indian foods you can get, but um, it seems it's even more delicious when you stick it on a dosa and then cover it in mozzarella and add these cashews for a little bit of crunchiness as well. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. So a dosa is supposed to be like a, a simple food. It's normally like a breakfast food. They'll just stick like a loo in it with some masala, you know, just some potatoes. And it's like, uh, supposed to be a nice light meal, but you can turn it into a dinner time food like this. Just now it's about 6.30, 7 p.m. or something. Uh, 
sun just setting here in Fujairah, UAE. And uh, yeah, this is perfect dinner time food and comfort food as well. Just like eating a pizza basically, you know? If you're just in the mood for something like this, that's probably not the healthiest thing you're ever gonna eat, but you want that good feeling inside your tummy, that you, you, want, you, you want to feel that you've just eaten something a little bit naughty, but completely delicious. This is what it is, oh, butter chicken covered in mozzarella, slapped on a dosa and stuck in this Scottish mouth to go down into the big Scottish belly. I think there was a third dosa he made for me, wasn't there? The one that was just uh, ghee and dosa. Hopefully he doesn't bring that out. There's no way I'm gonna, I'm like 50-50 if I'm gonna be able to finish the, like all this. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't bring out that other one. Hopefully they've forgotten about that one. I don't know. Mm. Mm. So nice. You can see how thin the base is. You can see that. It's literally like paper. It is literally the density of paper. So basically when you're eating this, you're eating mostly topping. You feel like you're eating mostly topping. You feel like you're eating a butter chicken just with, like I said, some cheese and a little bit of crispiness from this uh, paper dosa. Mm. Hey bro, how are you? You, you eating dosa? Yeah, I'm having a dosa. You have a dosa also? Uh. I have seen your videos also. You'll see my videos, huh? It's good. Yeah. I just want to take it on picture. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm taking a break from... Uh, I'm trying to finish all this. <laughs> okay, you can take a picture. Okay. Still not working. Yeah, I'm filming, filming. You want to be my video? Yep. Come in, come in. Come into the video. Guys, tell him he has to take a slice for me. Go on, take a slice, take a slice, one slice, go. Yes, yeah, we did it. Go, from this, it's, it's, it's three layers, three layers. Go on, dig, 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 dig. You got it, you got it. Yeah, hang on, pull, pull, pull. On you go, you want a taste? He's <laughs> dropping it. Not only me that makes a mess. You like it? It's good, it's nice and fluffy, more than the, the, this dose is like paper, you know? Mm -hmm. This one's like nice and fluffy, almost like an idli, right? Thank you, bro, thank you for, thank you for helping me. Okay, <laughs> that's good, I've got, I got a wee bit of help. And now I've only got one slice left of this and two slices left of the butter chicken one. Okay, the ones that are all rolled up, I guess most of, most of the cheese and stuff went into the middle. The, I, I think the middle ones taste better than the, this one, but I think most of the ingredients are in the middle. Like, look how thick that is with cheese. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Fourth slice of the butter chicken dosa demolished. This is the last slice. At least this one's got very little toppings on it, so this will be easier to eat. But I'm revising my uh, odds of finishing this from 50-50 to about 30-70. The 30 is me finishing it, the 70 is me not finishing it. Mm. You come to help me? No, you just come just for a photo. Oh, I thought you, I thought you were coming to help me finish this. Man versus food. Hi, bro. Hello. Oh, I saw the video on Facebook. How are you? Oh, did you come here to help me finish this uh, dosa that I kind of know you didn't come here to help? Nobody, nobody wants to help me. Hi. Hi, Mohammed. Yes, ma'am. How do I know your name? This yeah, you have your badge. You have a badge. How are you? And will I post this video? I don't know, maybe I'll be dead if I try to eat this. Maybe I will not be able to okay. have the energy to edit it. Which one are you getting? Look, how many they have? Like, they have like... Yeah, we're going to eat a plain dosa. Plain dosa? Plain Only plain? plain? Ah, okay. Just with some ghee or...? Uh, with ghee. With ghee yeah, and yeah. with some aloo as well or no? No, no, no. Only plain? plain. Ah, oh. oh, just a very light yeah, snack. Very light. Skinny, the like. opposite, yes, yeah, skinny. The opposite, the opposite of this double yeah, decker. This is masala, this is masala I think. No, this is like three layers. There's like chicken, two layers of chicken masala, one layer of omelet, yes. and then mozzarella cheese, olives, yeah. cashew nuts, coriander, skinny. carrot. Yes, yes. So okay, much. Skinny, plain dosa. Yeah. See? No, oh, this is your one. Ah, yes. paper dosa, paper yes. dosa. Yeah. Ah. Yes. 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 Yes.
Okay, current odds are 50 50. I'm, I'm 50 50. This is going to be like uh, three, three mouthfuls. <sighs> okay. Normally people eat this much? No. Normally people eat this much or only me? <laughs> Normally people come and eat two big doses like this? No, never. Never. Only me. I'm the first one to eat two, right? Two big ones. This is calling a double decker, no? It's double decker? Oh. Yeah, it's so, not double decker, it's a triple decker. Triple decker, okay. So that actually counts as three doses plus one. I, I ate four doses. Basically, I ate four doses. Okay, two bites. Two bites left. Okay, guys, last bite. Everything on top of there. Are you scared? Yeah, because we are I guess I, I, I spew. No, no, no. We're scared because we are in duty now. We are on duty. You're on duty? Yeah. Um, <laughs> these, <laughs> these guys are on duty. And, and they sneaked away. They don't know what, it's not live. They don't know what time it is. It could be the weekend. Oh, you're wearing your uniform. It could, it could, be, it could be after you finish. That's why I'm scared. Yeah, it could be, look, it's dark outside. It could be any time at night. That's why I'm scared. Because I haven't even swallowed this yet. I'm trying. <laughs> Because the manager, otherwise our senior supervisor, the manager, senior um, senior is getting problem, you know? That's just scared. It's no problem. Tell him, tell him, Dale yeah, gives, gives permission. <laughs> tell him I give permission. He's telling, telling you, me also. I finished it, guys. Challenge complete. Man versus food. Oh, he's the one who made the dosa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dosa wala. Dosa wala. <laughs> Dosa Walla. Let's get a selfie with the Dosa Walla. Three selfies, four selfies, including mine. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Thank you. It was very nice Dosa. Dosa was fantastic. Beautiful Dosa. This is our North Indian chef. North Indian chef. Ah, you're cooking all the North Indian food? Yes. Ah, okay. That's cool. They have a special chef for each type of food. He's from Punjab. Punjabi, huh? I don't, know which, I don't know which lens to look at. I was like, look at that, look at that. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Fantastic. Thank you guys, thank you. No, this is, uh, now, today is complimentary. No money. Uh, let me leave uh, for your staff then. I will leave something for your staff. But thank you very much for your generosity. It's very nice. This uh, this for your staff. Okay, oh. give, give to all. Oh. Okay, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, guys. See you. See you. Have fun. Oh, you finished already? You finished that much quicker than I did? <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys, okay? Okay, okay. Ah, yum, yum. From me and my full belly here in Fujera, UAE. I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Oh.